guys. So recently I went through my closet and my old t-shirt collection and sweatshirts and sweatpants and let me tell you, I am a clothing hoarder. For some reason I have a sentimental value attached to like clothing that people have given to me or that I've like accumulated from places over the years. So for some reason it's very hard for me to let go of my clothes. Is anybody else like that? Let me know. So since I got rid of a lot of stuff, I felt like I deserve to go on a little mini shopping spree. I felt like I was lacking kind of just like the basics in my wardrobes. I feel like it's kind of an awkward transition period between winter and spring. A lot of like the old winter stuff was on sale and they were kind of just like putting out the spring stuff. So I didn't get as much stuff as I wanted to, but we'll just do like a mini spring clothing haul and I'll show you guys what I got. So the first store I went to was Zara and for some reason the line is always so long in there. So I only ended up getting one thing, but I really like these jeans. They have kind of like a scrunch stretchy waistband and I would say they're straight leg then you could roll up the bottoms and I pretty much only go for high-waisted jeans I cannot do low-rise I feel like I just need everything to be kind of like sucked up and in so high-waisted jeans are my best friend and I see a lot of girls wearing this style and I thought it was really cute and I've always wanted a pair so I grabbed these so the next store that I popped into was Airy, and they were having a 25% off sale on leggings. And you know that a girl can never have enough black leggings. So I grabbed these like athletic material leggings. And then I also grabbed just like regular standard black leggings. Also high-waisted, like I said, I cannot do low rise anything. So the place that I had the most luck at was H&M. And the first thing that I got from there is actually this shirt that I'm wearing now. It's just like a classic band tee and it says Metallica in little rhinestones. And I feel like this shirt would actually be really cute cute tucked into those jeans with a pair of Vans, throw in a pair of hoop earrings, and I feel like that's just a quick, easy, cute outfit. The next thing that I got from H&M is also a band tee. Every white girl has this shirt. If you wear a band tee with like a pair of statement earrings, like tucked into a pair of jeans and some like white sneakers, throw in some hoop earrings and a messy bun. And I can put it in a bun. And you're good to go. I get that there's a lot of controversy, like, oh, like, you don't even know one song from that band. And, like, you're right, but I like the print, I like the pattern. Who cares? The next thing that I got from H&M was this half-zip fuzzy teddy sweatshirt. The thing that I love about this is it's the same fuzzy material on the inside and the outside, like, all the way through. I feel like a lot of the times with this type of, like, material, like the teddy, it's fuzzy on the outside and then on the inside it has just like a weird like it's stitched into this other fabric which I absolutely hate and if you do get a teddy coat that's fuzzy on the inside and the outside it's usually so expensive this was only $15 and you could dress this up with a turtleneck put on a necklace some leggings and like chunky shoes and it would be super cute I feel like I'll get some good use out of this before like spring really gets going so the last thing I got from H&M I actually got it because I think that it would look cute layered with a turtleneck and that jacket I wanted one of these necklaces for a really long time now but every time I've seen these like they just look really cheap and like I cannot buy a real gold necklace you can tell it's like very heavy and it feels good quality and it was only 10 bucks at H&M you could even wear this and then layer some like longer gold necklaces underneath it so the last thing that I got actually is not clothing related and I didn't go to the mall looking for this but I was kind of like if I go in the store and they have it I will get it so I wasn't expecting them to have it because well I, I have to show you what it is first it's the Jeffree Star Bloodlust Palette. And if you've ever ordered something from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, especially on a launch date or right around a launch date, you know that it is nearly impossible to get your hands on his merch, his products, whatever it is that he's launching. So recently I did a video on his Valentine's Day mystery box. I got a lot of duplicates of eyeshadows and palettes that I had. So I was kind of like, maybe like I'll end up getting this palette in a mystery box or something later on down the line. So I popped into the Morphe store expecting them to be like completely sold out. Like they have the little display of like his new launch and I was expecting it to be like ripped to shreds, wiped clean because this only came out a few days ago. So I went in and they had it and I was like, wow, maybe they like double, triple, quadruple stocked up because they know how his launches go. So they had some left over, but I walked in and I was like, okay, I obviously have to get it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to swatch this palette and do a makeup tutorial on it. Let's be real. I'm going to do it anyway, but like comment, subscribe because it helps me out, you know? All right, guys, that's all I have for my little mini shopping haul. I hope that you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe once I reach a thousand subscribers I'm gonna be doing a Jeffree Star cosmetics giveaway so you definitely don't want to miss out on that if you want to see more of me you can follow me on my social medias link down below thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one